Hey everybody, Jeff for POD Insights here. Today we're gonna to talk about your Printify store settings, including things like order automation and fulfillment. So stick around, hopefully this one helps you set up your store with Etsy. Let's get started. All right, once you have your Etsy store integrated with Printify, you will be able to use the drop-down menu in the top right of the screen next to your profile icon and go to Manage My Stores, and it will take you here. This shows you all of the stores you have integrated with Printify. You will see multiple, of course, if you have integrated uh, stores on other platforms such as eBay or Shopify or things like that. If all you have is your Etsy store integration, you'll just see the one. All you have to do is go to the settings gear and it will take you over to the store setup section. So you have your store name where you can enter the name of your store as it sounds and save. This is just the display name for your store on the Printify platform. The ship from address is a setting that you may want to take a look at to see what the default setting is. The default setting is the return address of the uh, the supplier where your product was fulfilled and you can see a label example by clicking on that link up in the top right corner it will give you this pop-up where it shows you what a sample order looks like it will have the name of your store at the top of the return address but then the return address basically will just be populated with the address of the supplier where your order is coming from this can be important to you if you do have something like a P.O. box or uh, another location where you actually want to receive returns or want to be able to send correspondence to and from your customers. So you can choose a custom address if you want. The main section I want to focus on for today is in the preferences area. Here you have several options for your store, including the automation of order fulfillment and order routing. We're going to skip over order routing for just a second and scroll down first to the order approval setting. This is the setting that tells Printify whether to automatically send your orders into production or to wait for you to manually submit your orders. If you have it set to manual, it means your orders will come in and stay in a pending status until you manually submit them. You also have the option to choose automatic order submission at the rate of every hour, every 24 hours, or automatically each day at a specific time that you can select. So these are some nice options that Printify offers. Now let's just take a second and think about why you might want each of these different options. If you do not offer any personalized products, meaning you don't sell any products where the customer can enter a personalization like their name or their initials or enter the, someone else's name for a gift, you know, like a t-shirt with somebody's name on it or a mug with somebody's name on it. If you don't do any of that, then it may be worth your time to select one of the automatic options because your orders will get submitted even if you don't do anything. For example, if you have it set to the automatically in one hour option, your order will sync with Etsy. It happens once every several hours. And then as soon as that order comes in, the clock starts ticking after one hour, your order will automatically be sent to production with your selected provider that you created the listing with. If you want to do something to that before it goes to production, like cancel it or alter it, you only have one hour to do that. So if you don't get a lot of orders that require manipulation before going to production, then these automatic options can be a good option. I recommend at least at first, if you're going with automatic, probably do the every 24 hours option and see how it works for you. I recommend that because occasionally you'll get a customer who messages you and says, oh, darn it, I should have bought a different size. Can you change it for me? Well, if that customer messages you within you know, 10 minutes after the order, then you're good to go as long as you get that message quickly and go grab the order and edit it before it goes to production. So you want to give yourself a little bit of a window to accommodate requests like that because customers expect that you'll be able to help them out in those types of situations. And if your order is going to go to production automatically in one hour, that kind of narrows that time down to where you can make changes like that. And, you know, you might get into a bind where you have to tell a customer sorry i can't edit your order it's already been submitted and they may not be super happy with that so that's why i recommend starting out with the automatic in 24 hours if you do offer personalized products you're going to want to leave this as manual because you don't want any order going to automatic production until that personalization 
is done. So what you need to do for those orders is remove the product from the order and replace it with a basically a duplicate product where you have edited the print file with that customer's requested personalization. This is a pretty manual process on the Printify platform, but it is possible. It's much easier to do product personalization with Printful, which I'll cover in a separate video. So for that reason, I definitely recommend you leave this set to manual if you are selling personalized products through Printify. All right, the order import setting basically just says whether you want to see all orders that come through your Etsy shop or only orders that are definitely going to be fulfilled by Printify. That just keeps your order separate. You can actually still see other orders on a separate tab on your order page, even if you only import the ones from Printify. So it's not a big deal if you need to import manually an order once in a while that wasn't initially planned on being fulfilled by Printify. So just for sake of ease, I keep it set to only import orders fulfilled by Printify. The tracking notification setting is really only about manual and sample orders. You're just telling them whether you want to receive an email notification that your tracking link is now available if you ordered a sample or submitted a manual order. If you don't do this a whole lot, it doesn't really matter which setting you select. If you do a lot of manual orders and you don't want to receive the email notification, then you want to select, I don't need tracking emails. The last option here on your shop settings is to automatically send delayed orders to production. So sometimes Printify identifies that there is an order that will be subject to a delay, and that can be a production delay or it can be a delay because of extended shipping times. For example, if there is a particular country, if you're selling outside the US and there are current shipping delays that the carriers have reported going in and out of that country, it may cause your order to go into a delayed status and basically ask you whether you want to still submit it or whether you want to cancel it and refund the customer. If you have this set to manually, any order that's identified as being delayed will not go to production automatically and you will have to submit it. Okay, lastly, let's talk about automated order routing and why I do not currently use it. Automated order routing is an option that at face value sounds like a great idea. If you have automatic order submission and you pair that with automated order routing, in theory that can help you save time when an item that you need to fulfill is out of stock with the supplier that you chose when you created the listing. So let's say you get an order for a black double extra large 2XL t-shirt and your original supplier was, let's just say it was Swift POD and they are currently out of stock of black double XL t-shirts. Normally what happens is your order will sort of bounce back. If you have automatic order submission going on, it will try to submit, they'll get the out of stock notification and it will not successfully go into production. So when you go in to check your order screen, it will still be sitting in that uh, pending status with the little blue icon on it and you will need to review it. Now normally, you would have to manually replace the product on that order with a duplicate from another supplier. If you have automated order routing selected, uh, Printify will find another supplier that offers this product who has it in stock and they will place the order with that provider for you all without you intervening at all. However, uh, there are a couple of caveats to be aware of. Number one, you do have a checkbox here that you will probably want to use to only uh, use exact product matches. If you don't check this box, then Printify will first look for an exact product match, but if there is not, they will go to the next best product match to fulfill your order, and you may not want that. So for example, if you sell your t-shirt is a, a Gildan 64,000 t-shirt, and nobody has the size or color in stock that you need for a particular order, the automatic order routing will then go to the next best solution and fulfill that order. However, if the sizing is slightly different or something like that, your customer may not be happy that it's not, you know, matching the sizing chart on your listing. So, you know, you might want to be careful about selecting or not selecting this checkbox. If you do check this box, it will only route an order if there is an exact product match. 
You can also set a dollar limit so that your order will not be routed unless there is an exact match within the price range that you set. So currently mine is showing as $2. So if there's not another supplier that offers the exact same product within a $2 price difference, my order will not automatically be fulfilled. The only reason I'm not currently using automated order routing myself is because there is no way to indicate which suppliers you want your orders to be fulfilled by. Now, that sounds maybe redundant because by nature, automated order routing goes to any available supplier, right? But think about that for a second. There always are a few suppliers out there that are currently experiencing delays or quality issues for one reason or another, and you can tell that from their current score on the product catalog page for that item. So there's always going to be at least one or two suppliers at the bottom of the list that have a low score and it could be because they're severely delayed because of staffing issues or it could be because they've recently had some quality problems and they've had a lot of requests for reprints. Anyway, whatever the case, I don't want my order fulfilled by a supplier who's currently in that situation and I have no control over that with automated order routing the way it works today. It is 2021, it is April, and there's no feature currently on the platform for me to sort of disable certain suppliers if I turn on automated order routing. And because there might always be a supplier or two that I want to avoid, I don't have automated order routing enabled in my shop. However, if that's not a concern for you, then automated order routing may certainly save you some time. So let me finish up this discussion of setting up these shop settings by recommending that you always, every day, still go to your order page at least once during the day to check on the status of your orders, even if you have automated order routing and automatic uh, order submission in place and you, in theory, don't need to make any adjustments to orders, I still recommend you come here and check out your orders every day because you may occasionally find that an order is sort of stuck. If something was out of stock and you don't have automated order routing in place, you will see orders in this blue on hold status that you will need to go in and make some changes to before you submit. And you certainly don't want to delay the production or fulfillment of any of your customers' orders. So definitely plan on being in here every day, even if you have the automation options in place for your shop. So that's it for setting up your Printify shop settings for your Etsy print-on-demand store. I hope this was helpful. If you did find it helpful, give me a comment or a like on the video to help out the YouTube algorithm. And subscribe to my POD Insights channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.